That will mean that I'm going to take the distance between the x's here, which are 1, and I'm going to take each of my y values, those first five right there, and add those together. And after I do, I end up getting L sub 5 equals 129 over 40, or 3.225. All right, moving on then to the midpoints over here. I'm going to switch colors because I'm not using the same chart. I need to make sure in order to find m sub 5 that I choose numbers between all of these. So between 2 and 3 is 2.5, between 3 and 4 is 3.5, etc. So I have a new chart going over here on the right side. And I plug each of these values in. So when I plug 2.5 into my function, 2.5 plus 1 is 3.5. And 2.5 times 2 is 5. So I ended up getting 3.5 over 5. But if I move the decimal place over, I have 35 over 50, which reduces to 7 tenths. I subsequently can do this then with the 3.5, the 4.5, 5.5, and 6.5, and I get each of these values. 9 fourteenths, 11 eighteenths, 13 20 seconds, and then 15 20 sixths. So when I come up here to complete then um, this particular problem for the midpoints, I take the distance between the x's, which is again still 1, and I'm going to take each of my y values, 7 tenths plus 9 fourteenths plus 11 eighteenths plus 13 twenty seconds plus 15 twenty sixths. Again, you're welcome to use your calculator to take and add those numbers together. Uh, when you do, you end up getting, um, I just have the decimal this time, 3.1218, something right around in there. Um, even if you gave me 3.12 or 3.122, of course, I would accept any of those answers since the problem does not say how to leave it. Though, I will remind you up here at the top, it says give exact answers unless otherwise indicated. So... For these down here, as long as you have the work with all of these fractions, I'll be a little lenient with these decimals, but please understand your work is worth more points than your actual answer is. All right, so that finishes up page one of your review. Now let's move on to page two. Page two says find the indefinite integral. Um, and it's the integral from of 1 plus cotangent squared x dx. Well, whenever I see 1 plus a trig function squared, I do ask myself, does this by chance in any way relate to my Pythagorean identity? My sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Is there any way I can change this into cotangent squared? Um, and yes, if I divide this by sine squared right here, then I'm going to get a cotangent squared for that term. But that means I have to divide every term by that. Remember, I told you before, you don't have to memorize these. Um, even last year in pre-calc, your teacher, whichever one of us you had, um, we, we told you the same thing. You know, we don't have those memorized. We do this work right here, but many times in our head. 1 divided by sine squared then, of course, would be cosecant squared x. So here you can see, in place of 1 plus cotangent squared x, I can replace that with cosecant squared x dx. Because even though I know the antiderivative of 1, I do not know an antiderivative of cotangent squared. So now we find the antiderivative of cosecant squared of x, which is negative cotangent of x. And then since there are no numbers at the top and bottom here, this is an indefinite integral. That means I would need a plus C here at the end. All right, next, question number four. Um, this one here says express the limit. So this time it's written as a limit as a definite integral. So this is kind of the opposite of what question number one was asking. That means in place of all this stuff here, we could replace it with an integral. The um, interval from 3 to 12 gives us our a and our b value. 
I can take this and in place of the R's, just put an X or really truly whatever letter you want, cosine of R, cosine of X, you know, however you want to do it. I'll just say R since they use an R minus sine of R. But I can drop the subscripts that I have right there. And then in place of the DR, I put my, or sorry, change of R, I put my DR. And that's it for that problem. There is no other work you have to do for that one right there.